at this APRIGF uh, and APNIC and the combined APSIG that we've had, we're very fortunate to have had this year, uh, we, we have um, amongst the 500 or plus delegates, uh, maybe five or six persons with disability that we are aware of. Um, there might be uh, maybe one or two that we're not aware of. And that percentage doesn't gel. It's not the right percentage when we're talking about 15% of any country's population having a disability. And, and so we have some very keen advocates and I've mentioned Manik, uh, Bashka Bhattachi uh, from Bangladesh, a, a strong advocate, and of course Dr. Mohammed Shabir, who is uh, on currently the Board of Trustees for the Internet Society. And, and so with that core group, um, and I should also mention Joss Cheng, who was in the opening plenary of the APRIGF this year, and is from Singapore, and is only in his early 20s, and is passionate about making change, um, and talked about it from the lived experience that he has. And that's great, have these strong people, because the motto in the disability movement is nothing about us without us. So if we can't talk about how we feel about accessibility and make that point strongly, it's so easy for it to be forgotten. And, and it's, it's, it's not done in bad spirits, it's just there's so many other topics to think about. But we can't have the same people stretch so far. And we need more voices, we need more strong voices. And that is something we really are starting to work on now. I'm chair of the Internet Society Accessibility Standing Group, which was started this year. And one of the items in our action plan is to build that strong disability leadership. And we're very fortunate to be partnering with the Asia Pacific School of Internet Governance. And we uh, had a pilot workshop in Dhaka, Bangladesh, uh, in June, where we brought together um, advocates from five different South Asian countries. And it was like a train the trainer because we want to base that training and move it to more in-depth training um, again across the South Asian region and hopefully further on. We are still waiting for the funding to be able to do that. Uh, so when we can achieve that, we slowly, slowly build and we mentor those people. We mentor them to become a fellow. And, you know, if it's a technical person, we might find they might become an APNIC fellow or an APRICOT fellow. If it's more policy, then um, the APRIGF fellowship, but also starting in their own country. So building that skill set. And that takes time. And it's also building relationships with people in the internet community. That takes even longer. And, and so having a slowly, slowly building up that skill set, doing the mentoring, and encouraging those people to make a difference. And then, hopefully, if they can be strong advocates, then we hope that we will have a much more accessible internet in future.